Hi, I'm Brett Larkin, and welcome to the 18-day yoga challenge for your body and soul that I'm hosting with Yoga Outlet. Our inspiration word for our practice today, which is very fitting for the first day of a challenge like this, is hope. Hope means a feeling of expectation and desire to really want something to be the case, whether it's a resolution you've made, a goal you're trying to achieve, or just a hope of completing this challenge. Stand up, let's come to the top of the mat to begin. We'll take the feet hip width apart and spread your toes far apart. And press your weight into the balls of your feet and then your heels. Just take a moment to stand here, close the eyes and just kind of let your body move into its tallest spine. So maybe rolling the shoulders back, lifting the breastbone, pulling your navel in. So as you stand here and just observe the breath, trying to get a little taller, breathe a little deeper, making the breath audible in and out through the nose. You can think about how there is your own karma, your personal karma, but there's also the karma of the whole world, right, of everyone. So when we talk about something like hope, we have to put in strength and effort, but at the same time, we have to be willing to surrender to whatever the outcome may be, right? So it's really 50-50. So we're gonna use that in this practice. Take a deep breath in, fill up all the way, like you're gonna burst, take in that much air. And now open the mouth, exhale. Good, we'll just do that two more times. Inhale, filling up all the way. Find more space between the bones of your vertebra as you breathe in. Open the mouth, surrender completely. Last time, huge inhale. So the inhale represents our strength, our stamina throughout this sequence, us putting in the work. Open the mouth, exhale. And the exhale rec represents that surrender, that surrender to just the big karma that we can't control everything. Inhale, circle the arms down, around, and up. Reach up. And exhale, just fold forward. Super okay to bend your knees here. Good, inhale, find a long flat back. So think strength, stamina, poise, draw the shoulders down the back. Exhale, bend the knees, just fold over, surrender. Let the head go, let the neck go. Good, we'll just do this a few more times. So inhale, circle the arms down, around, and up. Reach up, press down through the soles of your feet. Stamina. Exhale, just surrender, draw the hands down by your sides or through prayer at heart center, however you like to move. Good, inhale, reaching up. Imagine the air is thick like honey or water, so all your movements are slow and intentional. Exhale, surrender, fold. Again, super okay to bend the knees. Inhale, half lift, find a long spine. So let the in-breath create your flat back here. And then as you breathe out, just fold, bend the knees. Good, inhale, circle the arms down, around and up, reach up. Mm, this time immediately exhale, swan dive forward, long out breath. Good, adding on, inhale, half lift, get long, glide the shoulders down the back, chest forward. It's like hope. And then exhale, step back to plank pose. Good, draw the navel in, press your heels back, take a big breath here. Good, and then exhale, just press back into downward facing dog. So your first down dog of the day, just bend the knees, pedal through the legs, just do whatever feels good. Okay. Inhale, strength, coming forward to plank pose, shoulders over wrists, breathe in. Exhale, pull your navel back into your spine, downward facing dog. Twice more, just using your whole in breath to rock forward. Really lining up shoulders over wrists, press your inner heels back. Exhale, downward facing dog. Good, last one, inhaling plank. This time we'll hold here. So draw the navel up and in, lengthen your tailbone back towards your heels. Now breathe in here for three counts, so three count inhale. 
And three count exhale, draw your thigh bones up. Maybe feel the body begin to heat up, engage. Again, breathing in, three count inhale, slow. Controlling the breath, three count exhale, pull the navel up and in. Good, last time, three counts in. Mm, three counts out. Good, three counts in. And this time lower your knees to the floor and then bend at your elbows, lower all the way down to the floor. Inhale, baby cobra. Mm, exhale, child's pose, seat to heels. Good, take a deep in breath. Maybe rock the seat a little bit side to side. We're still just warming up the body. Good, and then inhale, come on to all fours. Exhale, downward facing dog. So we're gonna do two Surya Namaskar A, Sun Salutation A, and we're gonna really just focus on the inhale, building stamina, and the exhale, cultivating a sense of surrender, and you just wanna move slowly and on your own time. So as you're ready, breathe in, step, jump, or walk to the top of the mat. So you can just stroll forward, you can keep your feet hip width apart, or toes touching, whatever feels right for you. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, fold. Good. Inhale, circle the arms down, around, and up. Reach up. Really call to mind your goal, whatever it is you're working on in your life right now. And then exhale, draw hands either through prayer or press the air away, hands by hips as you exhale. Good. Inhale, calling up courage and strength. Breathe in. Make your inhale super long. Breathe in all the way. Breathe out, fold. Inhale, long spine. And exhale, step back, plank pose. Your choice, you can move through chaturanga or you can take knees to the floor and do baby cobra like we just did. So either chaturanga up dog or knees to the floor and take cobra like we did the first time. Exhale, downward facing dog. So you can do either variation, doesn't matter which one. Bend the knees in your downward facing dog. Take a full in breath. Full out breath. Again, just calling to mind your intention, whatever goal, whatever you're working on. Maybe it's just doing yoga for 18 days in a row. If you don't have anything else, you can focus on this challenge specifically. Good. Walk towards the top of the mat. And your inhale, inhale inflates the spine half. Exhale, let go. Inhale, circle the arms down, around, and up. Reach up. Mm, exhale, press the air away. Again, breathing in. Heart lifts. Press down through the soles of the feet. Exhale, really surrender. Inhale, half lift. Breathe out, plank pose, step back. Exhale, knees, chest, and cobra, or chaturanga up dog. So I'll alternate between doing both, and you can just do whatever variation is best for you. If you're newer to yoga, you definitely want to be coming down onto the knees. Good. Hear your breath, fire up your breath. Hmm. Gently step or walk to the top of the mat. Inhale, really feel your abs engage here, your chest pulls forward. This is all about strength and hope. Exhale, just let go. Fold. Inhale, circle the arms down, around, and up. Reach up. Mm, exhale, press the air away. Come to stand, Tadasana. Good, last time. This time focus on how quickly you can alternate between strength and surrender. So inhale, reach up. You're very forceful and strong. Exhale, just let it go. How quickly can you just go to being soft? Inhale, half lift. Mm, exhale, step back, plank pose. Good, breathe in here, super strong. Mm, exhale, lower halfway or all the way, up dog or cobra. Exhale, downward facing dog. Good, inhale, walk the hands towards your feet. Come into a little flat back, half lift. Mm, exhale, fold. 
Good, I want you to take the left hand on the floor underneath your face, take your right hand to your low back, bend your left knee and just come into a little twist here. So you should be feeling a stretch on the outer right hip. Roll the right shoulder open. Bend the left knee deeply. Last two. Mm, last one. Good, exhale, walk it out to plank pose. Again, chaturanga or cobra, whatever's feeling right to you. Mm. Exhale back, downward facing dog. Inhale, take the right leg high to the sky, bend the knee, stack the hips. Press through your knuckles of your hands, especially index finger knuckle. And exhale, draw your knee to your nose. You can always skip these if you're newer to yoga. Inhale, up and back. Exhale, knee to nose. Good, inhale, up and back. Exhale, this time set the right foot between the hands. We're coming into a high lunge. So you want your front knee at 90 degree over the ankle and bring the arms up or circle them down around and up. Plug your shoulder blades down. Good, and then draw your navel in, draw your front ribs in. And take three deep breaths here really pressing like vigorously through the back heel. Hear the breath come in, three counts, three counts out. Good. Now as you look at the horizon line here, visualize your goal, your intention, just who you want to be, what you're reaching for. Inhale, find a little back bend. And then as you exhale, hover and bring the hands by the hips or maybe higher than the hips. <laughs> Good. Inhale, come on up. And it's tricky to keep your balance, so keep squeezing the inner thighs together. Exhale, fold. Good, inhale up. Mm, exhale, fold, stay strong. It's all about strength now. Inhale, come on up. Last time, exhale, fold. Get the arms really high. Good, inhale, come up. Mm, this time, exhale, fold. Interlace your thumbs. You're just going to hook your thumbs and then bring yourself up. This is a lot of lunge, I know, but just take your palms back so your thumbs are little hooks for one another. And now this is the surrender part. Just let your chest open up. Last three. Two, narrow your hips towards one another. Last breath. Mm, exhale, hands frame the foot. Step your right foot back to meet your left and put all your weight on your left hand. Reach your right hand to the sky. If you're new to yoga, just drop the bottom knee to make it a little easier. You're in plank. We're here for three. Firm your abs and lengthen your tailbone down. So this is the strength part of hoping. And then exhale, surrender. We're going to take the right foot behind us for a wild thing. And if you're new to yoga, you can just meet us in downward dog. Big breath in. And surrender here. Send the hips up, but really think of surrendering the upper body. Good. And then we'll all just meet in downward facing dog. Level one, if you went to child's pose or you're in down dog, and just join up with us here. We'll inhale, move into a plank. Exhale, chaturanga are all the way to the floor. Breathe in and up dog. Make sure your kneecaps are leaving the ground on your up dog. So you're really engaging the thighs. We'll meet back downward facing. Breathe in. Exhale, walk the hands back in space. Take the right hand underneath your face. Right below you, bend the right knee this time. Left hand comes to left hip and left low back. And then just begin spiraling your chest to the left. Hopefully feeling a stretch in the outer left hip. Really open the left shoulder more towards the ceiling if you can. Press down through the feet. Press the toes into the mat. Last breath. Good, exhale, walk it forward. Your choice, plank, chaturanga, or skip it. Take the left leg high to the sky. Bend the knee, stack the hips. Exhale, knee to nose. 
Good, inhale up and back, don't rush it, go slow. Exhale, knee to nose, draw forward, shoulders over wrists. Inhale up and back. Exhale, set the foot between the hands, come on in to high lunge, second side. So front knee is bent at a 90 degree angle, see if you need to readjust your stance, bring the arms up, plug the shoulders down. Good, draw your navel up and in away from the thigh, knit your front ribs together. Take a big breath in, exhale all the way. Good, look at your horizon line, see what you're going for, really feel strength building in the body from the toes up to your chest. Good, and then inhale, maybe back bend a little. Exhale, hover, bring the hands up higher than the hips if you can. Good, a few more times, inhale. Flow on your breath, so you don't have to be doing things in time with what I'm saying. Exhale, fold. Inhale it. Exhale, hover. Last time, inhale it. Exhale, hover. This time we're gonna hook the thumb. See if you can remember the opposite way and hook them the opposite way and then just bring yourself up, upright the torso and send your hooked thumbs back in space. Just inhale, receive here for three breaths. So we did our strength and this is the surrender part now. Just hear your breath. Last two, see if you can get the arms a little higher. This is a shoulder stretch. Chest opener, last one. Mm, exhale, hands frame the foot. Step the left foot back to meet the right foot. All the weight is on the right hand now. Come into your side plank or level one, just drop uh, the right knee so you're on the ground. Level one, you're gonna stay here the whole time. Move back to down dog as you are ready. Level two, keep strengthening your core, lengthening your tailbone towards your heels, and now surrender. Step the left foot behind you, wild thing. So the surrender is almost just like this gentle extra opening of the heart. Good. Come back to plank. Move through chaturanga or skip it. If you're in down dog, you can flow through or skip it. Find your breath in your downward facing dog. Take the right leg high to the sky. Exhale, knee to nose just once. Inhale up and back. Exhale, step the foot between the hands. This time, back left heel drops. You're coming into warrior two. Good, inhale, reverse warrior. Exhale, side angle for just a breath. So your elbow can rest on the knee or your hand can come to the floor, level two, three. Good, inhale, reverse triangle. And exhale, triangle pose. Feel your legs strong, your upper body soft. See if you can rotate your heart towards the ceiling just a little bit more and draw your shoulders down your back. Final breath. Press down through the soles of your feet, pull up through your legs, spiral chest to ceiling. And then exhale, hands frame the foot, step it back, plank. Chaturanga, up dog or cobra. We'll all meet down dog, left leg high to the sky. Exhale, knee to nose. Inhale, up and back. Exhale, set the foot between the hands. This time drop the back right heel to the mat. Cartwheel up, find your warrior two. Good, inhale, reach forward to go back, reverse warrior. Mm, exhale, side angle, elbow to knee, level one, or hands to the inside or outside of the foot, level two. Big breath in, keep firming that back leg straight. Let's take it back, reverse Trigonasana. Front leg straightens, just reach back, big side body stretch, and exhale, triangle pose. Always okay to bring the back foot, heel toe it in a little bit if you need a shorter stance for triangle pose. 
on the inhale, strengthen through your legs. So pull up through the arches of your feet and spin your chest towards the ceiling more. And on your exhale, keep everything strong, but just try to find more ease, more lightness in the chest. Last breath. Bend the knee, cartwheel the arms down, step it back, plank, chaturanga, cobra, or just hold down dog or level one. You can always just go to child's pose. From down dog, we'll all now come to child's pose. So drop the knees to the floor, take your seat towards your heels. The knees can be hip width apart or as wide as your mat, or the knees can actually be touching if that feels better for your low back. So just experiment with what feels best for you and then send the breath into your low back. Exhale all the way. Good, inhale. Getting strong, just acknowledging a little bit of heat that you created in such a short time. And then exhale, just surrendering, surrendering any outcome. Walk your hands so you're coming up. We have one more piece to this sequence. We're going to come to be sitting um, with our feet in front of us. And we're gonna come into what's called Navasana boat pose. So I want you to reach your arms in front of you, hands parallel to the floor. Plug your shoulders down and back as a first step. And then imagine there's a string between your collarbones right towards the ceiling that's kind of controlling the upper body. And from there, you're gonna take your legs bent so the shins are parallel to the mat. Pull your navel down and in. Squeeze your thighs together. Squeeze your cheeks together. Good. So this is definitely the strength part. Level one, stay here. Level two, you can straighten the legs, right? So there's a couple places you can be. We're here for four more breaths, and then we're gonna add a variation. So again, you can always just stay here and skip the variation if it's too much. Good, keep firming the navel down and back. You got it, squeeze the shins, squeeze the seat, squeeze the thighs. Keep everything squeezing towards the midline if you're doing the variation with me. As you breathe in, you're just gonna lower down to hover and straighten, and exhale, pull everything back up. Good, we're gonna do this five or six times here. So lower and pull in, good. Slowly lower, remember we want control, and slowly pull in. And if you're just holding Navasana, that's fine. You can always take your feet to the floor and then join us by pulling them back up. Good, slowly lower, and slowly come up. Three more, use your breathing. We don't want to be feeling this in the low back, so really think of pulling your navel back, and if it's tweaking your low back, just hold and stop the variation. Good, last one, last one. You got it. Breathe in here, we're holding for three. Pull the navel back, two. Squeeze the seat, squeeze the thighs, one. Good, take your hands to the mat. Press your seat towards the sky. We're coming into reverse table, and if it feels good to let the neck uh, fall back. So your fingertips are pointing towards your heels, so make sure that that's happening and just surrender. This is the reward. <laughs> Let the head fall back if it feels okay. See so if you can get the hips a little bit higher. Mm. Exhale, come back down to Navasana. <clears throat> so arms forward, shoulders plug back, lean back. Chest stays open, squeeze thighs and shins together. Again, level one, you can just stay here. Definitely a lot of heat, pull the navel back. If you're moving on and you wanna keep doing variations with me, hands to prayer now. Good, we're gonna take this twisting. So you're gonna take your knees to the right and lengthen your arms towards the left. Come back to center and alternate. So meeting our goals requires this kind of strength and stamina and to stick with something like this even when we want to stop. Mm. 
We're going to do two more each side, wherever you are. One more each side. Keep squeezing the shins and legs together best you can. Good. And then just lean back. Hold here with me. <laughs> Hold here with me. Three, two, one. Good. Feet to the floor. Come into your reverse table. Ooh, let the head come back. Fingertips point towards the heels. Get the hips high. Surrender here. And level two, three, if you want to straighten the legs, go for it. Wherever you are, last breath. Drop the seat to the floor. Reach the arms in front of you. We're going to roll back, so draw the shoulders down and back. Pull the navel back towards your spine. Roll all the way down with control. In our last pose, we're just going to end with either wheel or bridge. So if you're coming into bridge, you're going to interlace your hands underneath you. Make a little fist. And then shimmy your shoulders towards one another. So your shoulders, like origami, make a little shelf <laughs> for your heart. Press the feet into the floor. Bring your inner thighs energetically towards one another. So you don't want them to touch, but you don't want them splayed open. <sighs> Big breath in. And level two, three, if you want to come into full wheel, please feel free to do so. Final breath. Good. Slowly lower down. Good. Draw the knees into the chest. Give them a squeeze. Take them in some small circles. And you're going to rock and roll on your spine to come up for a sit. So just come on up. Make sure to prop yourself up, especially if you're newer to meditation. We're just going to do two minutes. It's going to be really easy. So I'm going to prop myself up on this meditation cushion. And if you have questions about the proper way to sit for meditation, I definitely have a video on that you should explore because having a comfortable seat is really a big part of what you need in order to um, be able to meditate effectively. Just take your hands on your knees and we're just going to do some gentle stirring. And I like this as part of our hope theme because so you're just taking the torso and the low back forward and back. So I like to think of this as uh, stirring the pot of your intention, stirring, calling to, bringing forth the energy of what you want. And this also warms up the hips and loosens the low back. And it's also a kundalini technique for rising energy. You can close the eyes if you want. We're just going to do this for about 60 more seconds. And now go the other way. So just reverse whatever direction you were going. Good, and now slowly come to center. Keep the eyes closed. Take a deep breath in. Exhale all the way. Take a deep breath in. And exhale all the way. So for today's meditation, bring your arms straight up. We're going to draw the fingers in and have the thumbs pointed out. And then we're going to do Kabbalah Bhati breath, which is breath of fire. And you can just watch me do it first and then you'll know how to do it. Basically, you exhale all the air out of the body first. Inhale part way. And then you're just going to take sharp exhales through your nose as you snap your navel back into your spine. So it looks like this. So the inhale is passive. There's no inhale. You just forcibly exhale through the nose. And then as you do that, your navel snaps back. The more you can activate the navel, the more you're really going to receive the benefits of this meditation. Arms are straight the whole time. So bring your arms up, thumbs out. You don't want them to be forward. You really want to be back and tall best you can. And then really snapping the navel. Let's exhale all the air out of the body. 
And breathe in part way and begin. So definitely feel free to close the eyes and you can be going slow or fast or at whatever pace feels right for you. So some people like to go really fast, like and some people like to go really slow. So wherever you are, just keep your eyes closed, find your rhythm and really try to prioritize the feeling of the navel snapping back into the spine. So sometimes if you go too fast, it just becomes about the the nose and we really want to feel our core activating here, our navel and abdominal muscles really doing and feeling the work. Keep it going, keep the elbows strong and straight, keep the arms moving back. In just 30 more seconds here, keep the eyes closed. And this is all about your strength, your determination, your willpower. We are literally lighting up <laughs> the chakras in the body that involve our strength and our will. Good, 10 more seconds here. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Hold the breath in, hold the breath in. Pull your groin away from the mat. So pull your, um, pull your groin up and in. Pull your pelvis away from whatever you're sitting on. Retain the breath as long as you can. You can bring the thumbs to touch above your head if that feels right. Dip the chin. And then as you need to, exhale. Just have the palms face up on the knees, gesture of total surrender. Index finger and thumb touch. And if the first part of this meditation, the breathing was about your strength and your willpower and your determination, now just sit in the, the easefulness side of hope, right? Just trusting and knowing that the universe will rise to meet you, that whatever will be, will be. And take a deep breath in. And lift your pelvis away from your cushion or mat. Pull the groins up and in. Pull the navel in. Dip the chin. Retain the breath. And then as you need to, just exhale. Let go. And bring your hands to prayer in front of your heart. And dip your chin slightly. And take a breath here. Full inhale and exhale before opening your eyes to take in the color of your mat. Thank you so, so much for practicing with me. You can get details on everything I used in this video if you expand the description bar below. Thank you to uh, Yoga Outlet for making this video possible and be sure to like this video, comment below, and of course subscribe to my channel to support free yoga online. I hope to see you in the rest of the challenge videos and from my heart to yours. Namaste.